soldier on this journey, it gets hard sometimes. Many trials, many burdens try to cloud my mind. And sometimes my friends turn their backs on me. And they throw rocks at me, making it hard for me. But still I'm not worried because every time I need the Lord, He's been there. He held me close and let me know that He cares. And I don't have to worry while I'm leaning and depending on him. Oh, I know he hears me. When I pray, he is with me. Every day, my God will keep me. Come on, he'll never leave me. So I'm saying, so I know he hears me. I know he is with me. about I'm criticized people are hurting me and insulting me and I don't know why so many pains and struggles and heartaches taking advantage of me so much your host Tony Dalriva we are here live at the premier soccer center for the divisional playoff game between the Angels and the Wildcats Amaya spread out keep it wide Angels tie the game at two to two. Hey, water girl, where's my drink? Ha ha, funny. And the name's McKinsey. Whatever. The Angels are fighting their hearts out, but the time is just not on their side. Watch your left. Your left. Shoot, score. The Wildcats are up three to two. Don't worry, coach. Amaya may be a brat, but she's good. We'll win. Mackenzie, it's not always about winning. Oh, no! How can we win without Amaya? That was a brutal hit by the Wildcats. The referees have pulled the red card. <laughs> Amaya, are you okay? I don't think so, Coach. I can barely move my leg and it hurts. You're going to have to forfeit the game. What? No. No, no, let me, let me try. Let me try. I can't. Mackenzie, gear up. You're going in. Yeah, but coach, I'm not ready. You said so yourself. Mackenzie, you'll do just fine. Go, go, go. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Folks, I believe that's Mackenzie Adams, the Angels water girl coming into the game. Mackenzie! Whatever you do, just stay away from the ball. Five seconds left in the game. McKenzie has the ball. <laughs> the Wildcats win and advance on in the next round. But there is still hope for the Angels. All right, girls. Bring it in. McKenzie, what are you still doing here? Is everyone gone? Yeah. Why? Because I'm pretty sure I'm all over YouTube by now. <laughs> Mackenzie, you're an angel. You're part of the team. And as a team, we encourage each other. Really, Coach? Yes, we do, even when we make mistakes. They called me a slinky. A slinky? Well, why is that? Because slinkies aren't really good for anything. But you can't help but smile when you see one tumble down the stairs. You know, you do kind of look like a slinky. Yeah, I, I thought this was supposed to be some kind of pep talk or something. No, not really. You know, you are pretty bad. You need a lot of practice and a miracle. But like I said, it's not about winning. It's about trying. And what I saw out there today was not you trying. Well, if it's not about winning, then why do they keep score? Okay, good point. And I did try. I'm just not any good at anything. No. You were afraid. Mackenzie, you... You gotta believe in yourself. You have to do your best every time. And sometimes it wouldn't hurt to pray for a miracle. Yeah. 
Get on out of here so I can lock up. See you tomorrow, Coach. All right. I warned you. Josh, do you believe in miracles? I don't know. What's a miracle? It's when something really good happens that you can't explain. I guess. So does that mean when I found Sam, that was a miracle? Could be. Coach says I should pray for a miracle. Maybe I should. Then I won't be so bad at everything. Maybe I should too. Then I could do better in English. Yeah. You definitely need a miracle if you want to pass that class. Whatever. <laughs> Good night. Good night. I watched the older kids walk around having fun. I kind of wished I had someone to talk to so I could know what to expect at the new school. Maybe someone a little nervous, like me. That's very good, Alexis. Josh, why don't you read the next paragraph? A how pat. Do you know where we are? It's page 21. Last paragraph from the book Crumb Snatchers by Brandy Worley. It says, an hour passed when a tall male teacher came out. Josh, have you gone over your vocabulary words? Yes, but Josh can't read. Josh can't read. <laughs> I hate this class. Josh, come back here. Girl, did you see Mackenzie's horrible kick last night? Mm -mm, gee, I can't believe they still keep her on the team. Look, there she is. Hey, Mackenzie. <laughs> awesome kick last night. Hello, Ms. Adams. So good of you to come. Have a seat, please. Thank you. So, what is this about, Counselor Dixon? Josh has been having reading problems throughout the year at school. I know. Um, I've been trying to work with him at home, but... Ms. Adams, I do understand. I do. But unless Josh gets some serious help with his reading, he will not pass this year. Now, our school offers an after-school tutoring program that I seriously suggest he take advantage of. Otherwise, we may have to hold him back a grade because he can't keep up with the other students. Okay. Um, I understand. Thank you. Hey, Mackenzie. Nice shot. Don't you have anything better to be doing, Amaya? Better than watch you make a fool out of yourself? Nah, I don't think so. Hey, why don't you do yourself a favor? and just quit. Come on. Mackenzie, what was that all about? Nothing, Coach. I was thinking, maybe soccer just isn't for me. The team would be so much better off without me. Now that is a bunch of foolishness. Sweetheart, deep down, everybody's got potential. But you need faith to bring it out. Did you see that kick? It's gonna take a lot more than just faith, Coach. Yeah, I saw it. I think it's up to two million views on YouTube. You watched it on YouTube? Well, obviously everybody did. Oh, that's it. I'm definitely quitting. But, but you, you can't quit. I mean, everybody's watching. And you know how everybody loves an underdog. Now, I want you to get out there, practice hard, and show two million viewers exactly what you're made of. But, Cole. 
old. No more excuses, Mackenzie. I have faith in you. But you gotta believe in yourself. Come on. All right, ladies, listen up. This drill is called Keep Away. And in this game, you got six players on the outside. You got two players in the middle. They are called the defenders. Now, the object of this drill is that the six players on the outside are to keep the ball away from the two defenders in the middle. Now, if one of the defenders should catch the ball, the lady that lost the ball will take the place of the defender in the middle. You got that? OK, Angels on three. One, two, three. Angel. Let's do it. Come on, McKenzie, that's it. Ooh. Is she dead? No, she likes to just passed out. This should do the trick. What are you doing? Good job, McKenzie. But you got to pay attention to more than just the ball. Apple. A-P-P-L-E, apple. Yes, yes, yes. Now, let me see you write it. You can do this. Miss Brown? Yes? Do you think I'll be able to re-like the other students? Of course, Josh. Honey, I've seen miracles happen for children like you every day. You just gotta try harder. And a little prayer won't hurt either. <laughs> Got it? Come on, you can do this, sweetie. Prayer won't hurt. Stay right there. I'll be right back, okay? <laughs> Hello? Anybody here? God, I know you're probably really busy up there, but I was hoping you could do me a favor. You see, I have this problem reading at school. And Counselor Dixon says you help kids like me every day. Well, if I don't start reading soon, I'll get held back a grade, and my mom's gonna be more disappointed. She's already sad enough after Dad left. Anyway, bye. Gotta go before it rains. Hey, man. Come on, boy. <laughs> hey, mister. <laughs> I didn't see you here before. I just got here. I see Sam really likes you. Yeah, he does. Are you hungry? Yes, a little. Hey, man. Don't go, don't go yet. Here you go. He's so it. You're such an angel. Well, I guess. Come on, boy. It's about to rain. It already did. <laughs> OK. I guess so. Five seconds left in the game. McKenzie has the ball. <laughs> Lights out, McKenzie. It's time for bed. I'll close the window. Oh, can you leave it open? I like the fresh air. Okay, but turn off the iPad. It's time to go to sleep.
God, how come I'm not good at anything? Coach says it will take a miracle. So, if you have any miracles left, I could sure use one. Hey, Mackenzie! <laughs> awesome kick last <laughs> And just wait. What was that? Yeah, I'm going crazy. Hey, Mackenzie. I'm Michael. Mackenzie? Mackenzie, what's wrong? <laughs> There's someone in my room. There's someone in my room. I saw feathers. I heard a noise. I went my mind. Okay, I'm going to check the closet. Mackenzie, honey, there's nothing in here. What do you mean, Mom? There's nothing. feathers. Look, feathers, Mom. Feathers. I look like a bird. There's feathers everywhere. What are you talking about, honey? There are no feathers. Mackenzie, I think you just had a nightmare. Come on. Lie down. Lie down. There you go. Try and get some sleep, okay? Mm. You're fine. You're... You're... You're an angel. I'm an angel. Oh. No. No. Angels, real. I must be still sleeping. No, you're quite awake. Ow! What'd you do that for? Did you feel that? Of course I felt it. See, you're not dreaming. I'm Michael. Nice to meet you, Michael. So, why are you in my room? God sent me. God? Yeah. You were sitting on your window and you asked for a miracle. So I'm here to grant you three wishes. So God sent you to grant me three wishes? Yup. So what do you want? I want to go to sleep, so if you don't mind. Tutoring and counselor and stuff? Pretty good. Yeah? Counselor Dixon says she thinks she can help me. Really? Yeah. Hey, well, that's really great, huh? That's good, right? Yeah. Mom? Yeah? Do you think you ever get married again? I just sort of really want to concentrate on you and your sister, you know? I know, but you just seem so sad after Dad left. Well... You should try. <laughs> you know, go out on a date. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have an idea. I have an idea. If you do really well in school and with the counselor and the tutoring and all of that, you can be my date. Really? Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, here we are. Have a great day. Bye. 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 Bye, honey. Nice van, McKenzie. Where'd you get it from? The dump. 
Nice makeup. Where you get it from? The rodeo club? Whatever. Students, if you have book sacks, bring them to me. Welcome back, Josh. Bring your book sack and your lunch. We're taking a test today. Hey, Mackenzie. Hey, Blinken called. He wants his shoes back. I wish I was rich. Then they wouldn't make fun of me. You gonna need more than a prayer, lame-o. But it was funny. Hey, Charles. I got something for you. Thank you. I'm his angel. Oh, look, Sam. Sam, Sam, fetch, fetch. Look, Sam. Look, Sam. <laughs> What do we do with it? It's like a million dollars. No, it's not. You can't fit a million dollars in a bag this size. It's like $50. Really, Josh? Well, maybe we should see who it belongs to and give it back to them. It's next to a dumpster. Maybe they meant to throw it away. Really, Mackenzie? Who's going to say, you know what? I think I'll just throw away a ton of cash in the dumpster today. Maybe they were downsizing? People downsize houses and cars. <laughs> And I don't see any cars in this dumpster. <sighs> okay. How about we just use what we need to buy some new clothes and give the rest back? Remember what we said about miracles? Maybe this is our miracle. Maybe you're right. <laughs>
and you're going to come eat dinner. Now! Yes, ma'am. And thank you, God, for today. Even though we didn't get to keep any of the money. Amen. <gasps> so, how'd you enjoy your first wish? Wish? In the locker room, you said, I wish I was rich. Then they wouldn't make fun of me. So you are real. I'm not going crazy, thank God. He says you're welcome. Some wish. Didn't even get to keep the money. That's because you asked for something that doesn't matter. Things on this earth all go away at some point. So I've noticed. God was watching, you know. You could have returned the money, and you probably would have gotten a reward you could keep. What's the fun in that? If God's watching, the least I can do is be entertaining. Well, look. I'm here to give you the rules. You ask God for a miracle, so you have two chances left to figure out what you really want. Just remember, things that don't matter won't last. You'll receive your miracle when you learn to ask for what counts. Great. Amber, your son is exceptional. His problem is not with reading or spelling. He is having trouble putting the letters together on the page. What exactly does that mean? Well, he might be dyslexic. So, with your permission, we would like to run a series of tests, some written, some oral, to help us better understand his abilities. Okay. Um, I want to thank you for all of your help, Counselor Dixon. You're quite welcome. Miss, Miss Jane, just the person I want to see. I understand that Josh is having some problems in your class. Look, I've had numerous students over the past few years. Josh is a very bright young man, but if he does not apply himself, he's not going to pass my class. I understand, Miss Jane, but Josh's learning disability is not entirely his fault. We think he may have dyslexia. Yes, but dyslexia does not explain his acting out. Well, just the other day, he threw a book at a student's head and then stormed out of the room. It is unacceptable. It is unacceptable, but he's frustrated. Look, I'm going to give him a few tests so that we can determine what is wrong. But all we're asking is that you be a little more understanding while we work with him to help him. OK, you're right. I'm sorry. I want Josh to do well. And I can and will do whatever it takes to support him. I appreciate that. So if it's OK, could you please send him to me when you're done? Of course. It's fine. Thank you. OK, wait a minute. What is that? Turtle. All right. Can you spell it? T-U-R-T-L-E. Yes, yes. Now, let me see you write it. Come on, you can do it. Take your time. OMG, Lindsay, did you see that new guy? Yeah. He's so loud. What's his name? His name is Michelangelo or something like that. Mm -hmm. What's our problem? All right, girls, listen up, listen up. Now look, we still have a chance to earn enough points to make it to the playoffs. Yeah. All we need to do is to win these next two games. How are we gonna win without Amaya? Look, girls, Amaya is doing better 
but she's still not well enough to make it to the games. But I know that McKenzie can do this. Coach, are you serious? You've seen her play. I am sitting right here. Come on now, oh, girls, yeah. give her a chance. You know, I can still remember there was a time when a lot of you were still on the field, still struggling. Huh? And who knows? Mackenzie just might be the miracle that we need. <laughs> All right, girls. Angels, on three. One, two, three. Angels! All right, now get out of here. Come on. And remember, get those clean towels. <laughs> Look at little Michael. What is he doing talking to McKenzie? I don't know, but after this practice, no one will want to talk to her again. Hey, Mackenzie. What are you doing here? And where are your wings? I'm here because you pray. And don't you think my wings are kind of freak everybody out at school? You sure didn't mind freaking me out with them. So, you got another wish for me? Look, I can't do this right now, Michael. Gotta go practice. Take it off, McKenzie. Bring it in, girls. That's it. Why are you out here on the streets every day? Don't you have a family or something? I used to, but I gave it all up. Why would you do that? Doesn't your family miss you? They miss me, but somebody here needed me more. Well, that's nice. Did you help them? Not yet. Well, here's a way you could help me. How was that? You can keep my dog Sam while I go into church and pray for you. <laughs> Everyone could use a little miracle. That's right. Stay right here, boy. This nice man's gonna take good care of you, okay? God, last time I was here, I asked for a miracle to help me read better. But this time, I'm asking one for someone else. Well, I want you to help this nice man to find who he needs to help so he can go back home with his family. Amen. Hey, son. I heard you praying. What's your name? Josh. Sorry for coming in here like that. The door wasn't locked. No, it's, it's, it's okay. That's what the church is here for, for people to come in and pray. Do you come in here and pray? All the time. What were you praying for? A miracle. A miracle? Yeah. You know, I remember when I used to come in here a few years back and pray for a miracle. Well, what happened? Well, my wife died. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, she was, I meant she was sick and I prayed for a cure. But it's okay now. See, I realize that praying for a miracle is like making a wish. So now I just pray for God's will to happen. But what's wrong with wishing? Isn't it God's will to put things in our lives that we don't expect? Maybe, young man. Maybe. I witnessed a miracle before. Really? Well, what happened? Well, a man was hungry, and I happened to have an extra sandwich in my backpack. He wasn't even expecting to eat. I guess that was a miracle. I think you're right, son. So maybe that's it. Maybe we're God's angels sent to give other people a miracle. Well, look at you. You're gonna grow up to be a preacher. No, I don't need to worry about my job now, do I? Uh, I don't know about that. I have to go, though. My dog's waiting on me. Okay. You just make sure you come back here on Sunday, all right? 
Yes, sir. Church could use a little angel like you. Thanks for watching, Sam. <laughs> no problem, son. Doing good? Yeah. Who are you talking to, son? Him. Oh, hey, boy. All right, well, look, you guys be safe getting out of here, all right? OK. That's See you, buddy. strange. Said you might be stopping by. I'm so sorry. I had no idea the money was yours. I should have returned it as soon as I found it, but my friends always tease me about my clothes it's and okay. my shoes. It's okay. It's okay. I'm glad you're doing the right thing now. And uh, don't worry about what people say. Yeah, that's what my mom says. But she's not the one being teased every day. What's the difference between these two? I don't know. I guess this one's better. Why? Because it costs more. Both seem to have the same uh, number of calories, basically the same ingredients. Only clear difference I can see is in the uh, packaging. So you're saying that if I dress better, I'll be worth more? No. You know, when my grandfather opened up his first store, his store was nothing but a small garage. The place looked terrible, but the people loved it. So he started this store in a garage. <laughs> yeah, you can imagine the ridicule he got from his friends. But you know what it taught me? What's that? It taught me to do the best with what I had for as long as I had to get to where I wanted to go. You have to wear the same pair of shoes, clothes, not what's on the outside, but it's what's inside that matters. Now it's getting late. We should, probably should go home. You're right. Thank you so much, Mr. Dupont. If you're a million miles Thanks, away, I'll still Bye now. bad dream. Yeah. I'm getting a lot of pressure from my teammates. Just such a disappointment. Come with me. I want to show you something. Are you crazy? I am not going out that window. Trust me. <sighs> okay. But if you drop me, I'm never trusting you again. <laughs> from a different point of view. Life is much bigger than your problems. True, but my problems are big to me. You don't know what it's like to be laughed at every day. I hate school, I barely have any friends, and I'm not good at anything. Your problem isn't school or sports. Your problem is you. What's that supposed to mean? Look, instead of worrying about what people think, form your own opinion of yourself. Instead of doubting yourself, just have fun and try. It's a big world out there. Try and make a difference for others. That's it! I know my next wish! 
I wish to be better at sports. Sports? Yeah, sports. If I can help the team win, I'll be making a difference. Plus, I'll make friends and I won't be laughed at anymore. Okay. Michael? Hey, Mackenzie. You need to get up. It's a big game today. Big game. Hey, I'm coming. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Now, Mackenzie. Second half of the game, the score is tied. Angels won, Bucks won. They are playing without their star player, Maya. All right, girls, bring it in. And we have 40 seconds left in this exciting game. Girls, if we gonna lose, we gonna lose with a fight. Now, we're not gonna get this game away that easy. Now, I want you to go out there, I want you to give it everything you got. Come on now, let's go. Get the crowd, let's go. Mackenzie, come here. Look, keep your head in the game. Ignore the crowd. You can do this. Focus. All right? Get back out there. Come on. Coach Carter has put in Mackenzie again, much to the displeasure of the crowd. Boo, Coach, what are you doing? Take her out of there. You trying to lose the game? talking about that is how you play the game yeah. teamwork Woo. Mackenzie I always knew you had it in you yeah. let's give it up for Mackenzie Adams y'all yeah. yes sir all right all right all right settle down now listen here because of today's win we now have a solid chance of going to the playoffs yeah. we just need to win one more game to tie with the Wildcats for the most points this season I mean, you girls did an amazing job. But enough of that. I want you to go out and celebrate with your families now. Come on, let's go. Good job, everybody. Good job. I'm going to buy you a snowball. That's how good you did today. Come on, let's see what we got here. Hello. Sir, you want some barbecue? Sounds so good to make you want to slap your mama. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't think we want any of that. But we will take uh, two mango. Strawberry mangoes and one medium cherry cola. We ain't got no strawberries. All right, then we'll take two cherry mangoes and one medium cherry cola. We out of that too, but you want a cold pop? Anybody got no time for that? Stay home! Josh, no! Oh, Lord Jesus, it's a car! <laughs> There aren't any signs of physical trauma. He may have passed out from all the adrenaline. But he's gonna be just fine. Oh, thank God. And thank you, Dr. Williams. I would like to keep him a little bit longer, though, to examine his vision. His pupils aren't as receptive to light as they should be at his age. Has he been prescribed glasses? No, but he has had some problems reading lately. We thought that he might have dyslexia. Hmm. Okay, stay here, I'll be back in a moment. Okay. Josh, you scared us. Where's Sam? He's fine. He's at home waiting. You passed out in the middle of the road. An angel saved me. There's this homeless guy I've been giving my sandwiches to every day. When he saw me and Sam in the middle of the road, he saved us. He had these big old white wings. It covered the whole entire sun. 
It was like when he was saving us, it got really quiet and time stopped. Josh, is that what you've been doing with your lunch every day? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, you have such a big heart and a huge imagination. <laughs> Can I see you for a second? Yeah, I'll be right there. Dr. Williams might have figured out why you're having problems reading. He thinks you might need glasses. I knew they were underestimating the power of my brain cells. Oh, God. <laughs> so, can I ask you something? Sure. Do you think everyone has an angel? Maybe. Well, I have an angel too. You do? His name is Michael, and he has wings, and he granted me three wishes. Remember that bag full of money? You wish for that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, what was your second? No. Is that why you're playing so well? Josh, you can't say anything. Swear it. OK, OK, I swear. But do you have any more wishes left? Yeah, just one. Well, what do you want to use it for? I might have to use my last one to win the game. No. What you doing? Oh, well, I just happen to have something. Oh, <gasps> just for you. A pair of brand new glasses. Oh, they're so beautiful. Don't give me that look. Come on, give me a try. You can do it. Bam. When Grandma came, the woman asked, who was I? Mom? Yeah? I can see. Ah! You can see! You can see! Now, I will keep this. No, you and won't. And you keep that. No, 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 no. I got it. No, stop. No, you keep the book. Give I'm keeping back. this. Oh, my God. <sighs>
You know, I thought a lot this week about miracles. What is a miracle? Many of you may know that I lost my wife Lisa to cancer three years ago. What you couldn't have known is that for some time I, I doubted whether or not God could perform miracles. But then I met this young man and he said to me that everybody is somebody's angel. Amen. And that God uses us to perform miracles in other people's lives. Yes. So this week, I want to challenge you. See, I want to challenge you to be somebody's angel. I want to challenge you this week to make it your duty to create a miracle in someone's life. Now, I can see by the looks on some of your faces, you're saying, how does he expect me to be a miracle? Well, miracles many times are very small, or at least they start that way. So when you're in line at the supermarket this week, and that little elderly woman is short on change, be her miracle. Help her pay for those groceries. That's right. And when you're driving down the highway, and you see a young gentleman who caught a flat, pull over. Be his miracle. Bless him with your spare tire. You see, miracles start with us. Each and every one of us is an angel. Each and every one of us is a miracle waiting to happen. Now, although my wife wasn't cured, you know that young student that you help out on the side of the road? Well, he's studying real hard. And one day he's going to become Dr. Williams. And Dr. Williams, see, Dr. Williams is going to discover that cure to cancer. And some other sick person is going to have their miracle delivered in that cure. your name cause I need you right now Lord yeah I'm calling your name cause I need you Lord right now Lord well sometimes I get tired and sometimes I get weak that's why I'm calling, calling your, your name yeah cause I need you right now Lord. put your hands together Lord anybody love the Lord let me hear you say amen How are you ladies today? Thank you for coming to service. Josh! Hey! It's good to see you today, and I see you've brought your family. Well, there's my mom, Amber Adams, and my sister, Mackenzie. Pleasure to meet you, Pastor. I have to say I was quite inspired by your sermon. Well, thank you, but honestly, I have to give a lot of credit here to Josh. No. He came in one day to pray, and he and I had a conversation, and believe it or not, he inspired even stubborn old me. Really? Well, Josh can do that sometimes. Well, thanks for coming out, Josh, and thank you for bringing your family. Bye. Nice meeting you. The pleasure was mine.
pick. Score! Mackenzie Adams wins the game! The Angels have won it again! That's it! They're headed to the playoffs. about what happened. Is it true? Is it really that hard for you to see? Yeah. Mom says I might have to get surgery because my eyes keep getting worse. I wish that I didn't have to wear these stupid glasses every day. <sighs> I know. I wish I would get rid of that thing. It's so embarrassing. What's up, Kim? Hey, Megan. What's up, girl? There she is. Hey, Mackenzie. What do you want now? Why don't you eat lunch with us? Yeah, that'd be cool. Okay. And one more thing. If you're gonna be popular, you have got to stop letting your mom drop you off at school. Yeah, and lose that kid brother of yours too, I get it. He makes you look all, you know, Mother Goosey. Mother Goosey. <laughs> Josh's mom, right? Amber? Yeah, <laughs> you're the pastor, right? <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, my truck bed fell open and spilled my tools all over oh, the No! <laughs> what are you doing here? Ah, uh, my car died again. What a coincidence. Why don't you pop the hood? Maybe we can see if we can fix it. Yeah. I'm not really even sure how to pop the hood. One of these things does it. Okay, wait, just give me a sec. <sighs> Son. Yes? You are in third grade, and you just scored 100% on a middle school test. <laughs> so that means I won't be getting held back a grade? <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> in fact, I am going to recommend that you be put in the advanced class. Josh, these scores are phenomenal. This is unbelievable. All right, why don't you try starting it up for me? Yeah? OK. Ha! Sounds like you're good to go. It worked. Yeah, um, you know, I think you need a new battery, so... Yes, I definitely need a new battery. If you want to go to the parts store, I'll be happy to install it for you. Really? And, yeah, and maybe afterwards we could have lunch. Lunch? I, <laughs> it wouldn't be a date or anything, but, I mean, it's hot out, and yeah. we both need to eat eventually, right? Yeah, we both need to eat. Great, let me close this sure. up for you. Okay. <laughs> Just follow me, all right? Okay, I'll follow you. Mackenzie! Guess what? Not now, Josh. I'm busy. Yeah, Zork. Go away. I was talking to Mackenzie. Not now, Josh. Go. Yeah, you four-eyed freak. Go away. Zork. Come on, Mackenzie. <laughs> Come on, Mackenzie.
some practice today, girls. You keep on playing the way you've been playing today. And not only will we make the playoffs, but we just might win the championship this year. Yay! And Mackenzie, I do not know what you were doing out there, but whatever you were doing, keep doing what you're doing. Gotcha. All right, angels on three. One, two, three. Angels! Yes, now go on home. See you later. Mackenzie, I see this little charade you're trying to put on. I'm the one that brought the angels this far. And as soon as I get better, you can kiss your spot goodbye. <laughs> you can never be me. People may like you now, but just wait. The real Mackenzie's gonna show up again, and when you do, I'll be the first one there to bring you down. For the record, I never want to be you. You're mean and pathetic. So you can take your trophies and shove it. Because as long as I'm here, we'll never need you. Hope your life feels better. I figured I'd see you here today. I needed somewhere to go quiet for a while. Oh, wow. That's serious, huh? It seems like the more people I meet, the more I like my dog. What's wrong, Josh? I was wrong. I thought getting glasses and getting put in advanced classes was a miracle. But it wasn't. Wait a minute. You're getting put in advanced classes? That's wonderful. I get teased. And my sister totally embarrasses me. Look, Josh, sometimes the blessings that God gives us take a little bit of time to get used to. Doesn't mean they're not good. Look, when I was your age, I prayed to God to teach me how to ride a bike. So one day when my dad showed up with a brand new bike without training wheels, I was determined to learn how to ride that bike. So I started working on it every day. I fell off of that bike a whole lot. <laughs> but I kept trying. And one day, I made it all the way to the end of the street. But when I turned around and looked behind me, I had broken every mailbox <laughs> on the block. <laughs> You know, the little old lady down there, she patched me up. And it hurt a lot, but I learned how to ride, bruises and all. You just gotta take your time and be patient, and you'll figure it out. I wish I had a dad to tell me this. You know, I did uh, bump into your mom today. <laughs> really? Well, she is a beautiful young lady, but don't ask her to fry chicken. Come on, boy, get your bag. I'll walk you home. think so? Girl, I know so. Come in. We have to coordinate what we're wearing now. Hey, sweetie, do you have a sec? I'm gonna call you back. It's my mom. Hurry up and call me back. So, who is that? This girl <clears throat> named Kimberly from school. Kimberly from school? Mm -hmm. Wasn't she one of the girls who used to make fun of you? Well, yeah, but we're cool now. Mm. Friends. Oh, oh, well, that's nice. I used to have friends like yours. Yeah, there was a time I was so unpopular at school until one of my teachers discovered that I could act. She gave me the lead in the school play. Me. Moi. I was the star of the school play. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that. I was, on, I was on top of the world. And then there were the mean girls in school. Every single day, they would laugh at me. Oh. Amber, ooh, Amber, look at your shoes. Oh my god, Amber, are you really wearing those clothes? And then, the posters for the school play went up everywhere. I'm talking everywhere, every single wall. There it was, a picture of me. Those same girls could not get enough of me. They invited me to all the parties, and they would call, and, and we'd talk on the phone all night long. And just as easy as that, I became one of them. I became a mean girl. Started making fun of my friends. Stopped doing my homework. I uh, completely, I'm talking about completely changed the way I dressed. 
and then it happened. Came time for the play, and my grades had dropped, so that same teacher said that I could no longer be the lead in the show. And those girls, after the posters had come down, stopped talking to me. And I would call them up, and they wouldn't return my calls. And even my friends, my real and true friends, stopped talking to me. I don't want that to happen to you, Mackenzie. Please don't change. Just, just be true to yourself, honey. And whatever you do, definitely, definitely do not hurt the people that you love just to impress somebody else. You're right, Mom. Yeah. So, don't you think that maybe you have something you should go and say to your brother? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Mm. I love you. You could have had a star for a mother. <laughs> that was me. I was great. <laughs>
Please rise and take off your hats for the Star Spangled Banner. And the home of the brave. Come on, Angel, ball. Took them no time to put some points on the board. I would like to take just a moment to remind everyone what's at stake in today's game. It is no less than a spot in the playoffs. Minutes left, the Wildcats take the lead, four to three. Girls, okay, bring it in, bring it in. What is going on out there? You're rushing your passes, you're not keeping your eye on the ball, and you're not paying attention to the field. These girls are tough, coach. Well, then show them what you're made of. Fight back. And what are you doing out there? You, know, you can't even keep your foot on the ball. I don't know, I feel like I'm losing it out there. Look, Angels, get out there and give it your all. Come on, now Angels on three. One, two, three. Angels! Get back out there, come on. Maya, you okay to go back in? Been on the reserve for quite some time now. I'm ready, Coach. Okay, get back in there. Coach Carter is activating Amaya off of injury reserve to come in and finish up the game. Nice going, Swinky. Bring it in, bring it in. Ladies, what is going on out there? We're supposed to be fighting together, not against each other. I know, but Coach Amaya... No excuses. Now, we're a team, and I expect you to act like a team. You two are good. In fact, the best I've ever seen in all my years as a coach. But if you don't keep it together, you're going to cost this team the game and any possible chance at a championship. But Coach, why are you keeping her in? Enough, Amaya. Now, Mackenzie is like family to this team. We practice together. We win together. We lose together. You understand? All right, get back out there, and let's win this game together. OK, Coach. Not going too well, is it? What kind of angel grants wishes with expiration dates? You could have at least waited until the end of the game. What fun would that be? Remember, God is watching it shall at least be entertaining. Ha ha, funny. You do have one more wish left. I think I'm ready to make my next wish. Ooh, that was a brutal thing. Are you okay? I've never seen a game this intense. Mackenzie, you get one free penalty kick. Angels, 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 angels. How Coach angels. Carter turned this team around after the loss of the star player against the Wildcats a few weeks ago, I do not know. Angels, angels. You can do this. You can do this. Going to the playoffs. Way to go, Coach Carter. Yeah. Gonna be number one. We're here at the Premier Soccer Center. Sweet Brown, can you tell us what happened? Well, I was making some popcorn, and then the machine blew up. Then I said, oh, Lord Jesus, it's a fire. 
then I ran out and grabbed no shoes or nothing, Jesus. I ran for my life and then a smoke gap. I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. You heard it here first. Good game. It was, wasn't it? All of that for this? So, was it worth it? Looking at the big picture, I guess it really doesn't matter. Being there for my family seems so much more gratifying. Sounds like my work is done here. Your work? Your wishes cause more problems than anything. Don't you get it? It's been you this whole time. Your faith led you to find the money. Your belief in yourself caused you to win those games. Because when you believe, you act as if things have already happened. So that was me that won those games? Yup. So what's the point of praying if I could just have faith and do things myself? Prayer isn't about getting things for yourself. It's about finding needs in other people and asking God to make a way for those needs to be met. The goal for your three wishes was for you to find the needs in someone else and pray that those needs be met instead of your own. So, I do have one more wish. Sorry, but you've used yours up. Oh, no angel wings. <laughs> See you, Mackenzie. See you, Michael. Thank you for blessing us again. It's a beautiful song. Last week, I told you about a young man who inspired me. I'd like to bring that young man up for today's scripture reading. Josh Paul Adams, come on up, son. Let's make him feel welcome, church. Is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of the sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. Josh, you read it without your glasses. Mom, I can see. God does perform miracles. Let's bring the Wardlaw brothers up for one more song. Did you use it last week at the soccer field? Yeah. What did you use it for? That you would be able to see without glasses or surgery. Thank you.
If I could, I'd bear your every burden I would shield you from the rain If I could, I'd be comfort when you're hurting And I would take your pain away And I would fight all of your battles And I would color your gray skies blue And if the weight was too much for you to handle It is then I carry you And I would be your everything I would keep you from you from danger Oh yeah I would you under my wings If you would let me If I could I'd bottle up your sorrow And I would throw them in the sea I would smooth out all of your tomorrow And leave no room for worrying And I would fight all of your battles I would dry your tears away If your mountains are too Give you the strength to help